Hi, this is Dara, and today I'm going to be showing off my setup for um, how I keep track of my writing projects. So, um, you know, someone had requested this in our Facebook space, and I was like, oh, why not? Like, let me show what I do. Um, so this kind of replaces, so I used Evernote to replace what I had been doing in Scrivener, and now I'm using Notion to replace what I was doing in Evernote. And I have two projects that I brought over here. One is a fictional project, and one is a nonfiction project, um, because there are some just differences in how I keep track, and so I thought I'd show that. But I just have this section in my Notion that I call Writing Desk, and um, let me show the fiction one first. So I like to divide my um, work into these category. So I have, you know, characters, so I'll have my character analyses, and I can go in here and, and you know, deep dive into, you know, what a character is about. Um, in this one, I did do like a, a kind of character form, but I don't, I don't always necessarily do that. Sometimes it's really more free form, like, you know, this is trying to figure out like ages of, of folks and stuff like that. Um, then the other section that I have is research, and um, when I, by the way, when I poured this over from Evernote, it put it into tables for me automatically, and interesting enough, it gave me a list view and a gallery view, um, and so far, I think that I, I will stick with that. I do like the gallery view um, for a lot of things, and so here's just, you know, all the research that I've been, I've been collecting on um, sort of histories of, of Virginia because the story that I'm writing takes place in Virginia. So, um, all right. And then the way I write actually is that I don't sit down and write from page one to, you know, 250 or, or whatever length of book 300. I just kind of write scenes and then eventually those scenes become chapters. So I have this section in here. I'll just you know, whatever is taking my attention, I'll write it. And then I write like the status. And um, interesting fact, if you port over from Evernote, if you were using tags, it will um, keep a column um, as your properties called tags. And I just change it to be status and made it a drop down. It's that simple. So the draft ones are ones that they're pretty much like full thoughts and they could be, uh, you know, finished off and then pulled into a chapter whenever it makes sense where, um, to write are things like I got an idea of something and, um, I might've done a quick summary about what I wanted to write. And, um, I guess writing just means I was in, in process of writing. So not, I'm not consistent. I haven't been consistent in Evernote. So my tags are not consistent here, but that is something that I will, um, definitely um, institute in in this section, especially because then I can do like status type things and, and what have you. And then of course chapters is the same thing except that you know it's now going all the way through from page one to the end of the chapter and and whatever that page was to the end of, of that chapter. And so these are actually completed chapters, but they're they're still in the first draft. So I have to um, go in and and write that. So that's how I do my writing projects. And I should note, like for people who are interested in page count, I mean, character count, um, it does give us that. So someone had commented on the thread that uh, on, the, on the Facebook thread that um, if you were using Notion, you wouldn't be able to do word count, but that's actually untrue. So you'll see that there is word count down here. Um, if you're if that's something you need to keep track of. All right. So let me show my nonfiction one. So similar setup. Um, I actually did a, had written this overview when I was thinking about what I wanted the book to be about. Um, and then I have like this table of contents I had put together of like what I thought would be the chapters of the book. They're not necessarily in, in order, just like what I think the book needs to cover. And um, then other tasks. So like um, this is a, is, this is going to be a book and video series, which means that there's going to be a website. So there's things that I wanted to think about branding. So I had already put together like a color palette and some fonts that I picked out. Um, but that's still, you know, this is kind of happens. This is a secondary action for creating this work because, um, obviously I have to create the work first. Um, I found this tool online that was like a book calculator. And so I just kept it and probably, um, it's in Excel format, but but there's no reason why I couldn't convert this into 
a, a Notion database and write the function. So I might, I might actually do that, but that I haven't done that yet. And then there's just this uh, asset that I created for when I do the videos with using phones. Um, all right, so then the chapters. So when I write a chapter um, in nonfiction, I actually have all this stuff that I put um, in front of the chapter, like as I think through it. So I want to put like, what's the chapter about? You know, maybe I do an outline of the chapter. And then as I start doing the video footage, I'll link to where I have the video footage I stored in, in Dropbox. And then um, I will write the actual chapter down here. And then of course I've got like, what's the status of writing um, this for the book? What's the status of videoing this? And then as I start to um, put this in order, I'm going to put it a number that says what chapter it belongs to so that I'll be able to sort these chapters eventually into the right order. Um, so it doesn't, you know, this is not for formatting. This is simply for writing. Like when it's time to format, I'm going to have to take it out of Notion and put it into a tool that does formatting, but you know, it's really a nice quiet writing space. And of course you see, I've got it in dark mode. Um, I could put it in uh, the light mode, but you know, that's, it's kind of bright for, for writing projects. Um, I go back and forth between those modes all the time in my work, but you know, you see, it's got this just quiet focused space for just doing the work. So Anyway, I hope that uh, answers the question of how I set up my writing space and um, just a quick video this morning to answer that question. So y'all take care. Uh, talk to you next time. Bye.